Madness. It's been forever since we did one of these shows, so it's very exciting. This is the show where we do three makeovers in just an hour with the best beauty, hair, makeup people in Canada here doing the makeup. <laughs> So Margarita's daily makeup ritual, well, it's kind of non-existent. The busy mom doesn't wear any makeup because she admits she just doesn't know how to put it on. So she's been looking forward to having the experts take the reins. My name's Margarita. I'm a mom of three kids. I have a 16-year-old, 13-year-old, and 12-year-old. I've been married for 17 years. All three of my kids play hockey. My daughter plays soccer. Uh, my husband coaches two teams and I manage my son's hockey team. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do work part-time two days a week, and that's it. This is my office. I used to have a door here, and it, it's not here anymore, so I said to my husband, it just interferes with me going in and out, and when I'm on the phone, and he says to me, Hannah, I'm on my way home, what are you doing? I tell him I'm in my office, and he knows I'm in the laundry room, so this is where I spend 90% of my time because my kids change three times a day. So, and, and that's the truth. <laughs> it takes me two minutes to get ready. I don't wear makeup. Um, this is the way I look on a daily basis. I'm so excited about this makeover. Um, I just want a, a new look for myself. How many of you have a similar office? Yes, I know I do. I love your fresh face, but I'm I cannot wait to see what this makeover is going to be about. You've got Christine Cho here doing your makeup. from plain natural you saw her she just throws on a parka and leaves her house what are you thinking for her makeup today well mind you she said she does it in 15 minutes that's more than enough time I do this in 15 minutes because I like sleep yes and I put a lot of effort into this so oh, it looks good <laughs> you know it takes a lot of work to so actually I'm gonna show Margarita a routine that allows her skin to breathe she mentioned she doesn't like heavy makeup the yes. feel of it yeah. and she's got more important things to do in life which is totally understandable mm -hmm. so I'm gonna keep her skin dewy and fresh so that she still looks and feels like herself which is more important yeah and then the rest we're gonna have a little fun with so. oh I love it mm -hmm. okay let's talk hair bill come on over here we're gonna have a little fun as well okay. um, margarita has very fine hair and it doesn't mm -hmm. grow very quickly you haven't had a haircut in almost a year mm -hmm. right okay. so but let's we're not gonna that's all the negative we're gonna say about it we're not gonna talk about anything we're not gonna talk about what's wrong with it we're gonna talk about what's great about it yeah. it's a gorgeous color mm -hmm. it's got some lovely movement and body to it the one thing with fine hair is we don't want to cut it too short, but it's reached a length now where the length is, is a hindrance rather than helping. So we are yeah. going to take some hair off, and I'm going to show her how to just dress it up really, really quickly uh, to keep it very modern. She's a great-looking woman, and we don't, want to, we don't want to take the naturalness away from that, right? Mm -hmm. We, want, like to, we that. want to work with it rather than try and hide it. Okay, yeah. that is so good. Um, you guys can go get started on your makeover. I'm going to show uh, them the next makeover right now. Our next makeover is a sports fan whose passion has taken her all over the world. Taryn recently went from blonde to brunette and is hoping our glam squad can rescue her damaged hair and bring it back to life. She's ready for a new look and this is her story. My name is Taryn. I'm 29 years old. I work for the National Hockey League. I think my love of sports grew from the Olympics. I remember growing up watching it with my dad and then you get into the different sports within that and hockey just seemed to be one that I fell on. So this is just an example of my love for volunteering, my love for sports. Um, I enjoy traveling to watch hockey games. Um, in addition to that, I've gone, I went to the Vancouver Olympics in 2010, which was an unreal experience, um, especially as a sports fan. And then I went with my dad to London in 2012 for the Summer Olympics. Uh, I think seeing the world and seeing where other people come from, it's so important. Um, I'm really excited for the makeover. I was blonde for the last two and a half years and really blonde. And just recently gone back to my natural hair color and it can use a cut. It is damaged. It is what blonde does to you. So I think I'm, I'm excited to see like what a full face of makeup looks. I'm excited for the haircut. 2017, right? It's, change is good. But this is going to look amazing. Okay, your team that's working on you today. We've got Maddox Lou here from Benefit. We've got Chris O'Hara from the Makeover Salon. Man, I'm loving that coloring on you, my friend. Let's talk about what your plan yes. is. 
So we actually came up with a name. We're gonna transform Taryn into the 2017 Bond girl. Ooh. Yes, because Taryn, like a lot of gals out there, she likes the natural, she likes the quick and easy instant beauty solutions, but yeah. she's not afraid to play it up from time to time. Good. So she's bold and girly, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do both in an instant. Okay, what do you think of that? I'm excited. Oh I'm, yeah. I just can't wait for a change. So I don't think good. anyone's gonna say no to being a Bond girl. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> okay, Grace, come on in here. Let's talk about her hair. So she was saying that it's pretty damaged. Yeah, it's pretty damaged, but she doesn't want to cut. Okay. <laughs> so, All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to reshape it, right? Got so it. I'm going to give her some soft bangs that kind of um, make it flow across her face like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get rid of that stiffness that it tends to have yeah. and give it a lot of um, a flow through her hair, right? And bring it up about this much. Take nice. off a lot of the as much of the dead ends as I can and make yeah. it look really healthy and shiny. And then I'm going to glam the heck out of it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you guys are going to have a good time with this one. This next makeover is trying to break free from her boring look. She's a newlywed who's had the same looks for years and wants to start fresh. My name is Tara. I'm 31 years old and I'm an administrative assistant at an insurance company. Um, I really don't spend a lot of time on my look. I might spend about five minutes or so in the morning. Basically, I, I look the same every single day. <laughs> so, definitely not Spectre Ops. So, I'm recently married, and my husband and I play a lot of board games. There we go. A clue and Monopoly, we don't really play those types of games. We play more like intense, I guess, tabletop games. Oh. oh, wipe it to the man. It hurts so bad. We met Luke Perry and Jason Priestley at Fan Expo, and it's like the best photo I've ever taken, next to, I guess, our wedding pictures. You go so happy. I have an Alaskan Malamute named Indy. He's eight years old. When I walk Indy, he more walks me. <laughs> About the makeover, I'm kind of nervous, but also kind of excited. I've kind of looked the same for ever, and it'd be nice to get, you know, a little bit out of my comfort zone, maybe, or, you know, spruce myself up a little bit. You look adorable, and I love, love, love your dog. What a gorgeous dog. Okay, so um, we want to give her a new look today. You're going to shake it up a little bit. We've got Kirk Brierley here, and Felicia. <laughs> That little video package does not scream Bond girl, I guess. <laughs> so I'm not sure what our name is, but uh, <laughs> it's, she seems like more of a gamer. Says, you like the board yeah. games. You like hanging out with your husband. You can tell you guys are newlyweds. You mm -hmm. you you guys have a lot of fun together, right? Yeah. Not that us old married people don't have fun too. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's something very fresh about the relationship. That's true, and fresh right? about the makeup. She's, yes. She's uh, sort of the girl next door, isn't she? I mean, she and literally, she's walking the dog next door. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. We'll keep it. Uh, you she suffers from a little bit of redness. Uh, she flushes really easily. She's got sensitivity. Yeah. So we're going to want to bring that down gently, uh -huh. um, even out the, the complexion, and then put color back into it. This nice. is the irony. You know, you take away the color, and then you've got to put it back in. I know. But we'll keep it nice and natural. It's the trickery of makeup, right? Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so Philippe, come on in here. Let's talk about her hair. Beautiful hair. Yeah. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's just not doing anything for her She right wants now. to change it, right? Right. So, I mean, we're going to take a few inches off. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. As you saw in that clip, there was a lot of pictures of her with other men. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, I did notice that. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> we're going to give her husband something to worry about once we're done. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I like it. Uh, mission will be accomplished, I'm sure of that. But what's great about all three makeovers is they're getting their hair and their makeup done, but they're also getting all new looks by Eva Grabasic. So we will check in with her at the end of the show. It's going to be phenomenal.